Welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna try to keep this intro real short and concise. I know I say that in almost every video, but I really mean it because this video is all about time. I'm trying to bring y'all something that I really need. As just a busy bomb, I have not been having time lately. As far as workouts, I maybe got a good hour max, but just setting up different things, even though I do have like a home gym, just even trying to get the setup going takes a lot of time. I feel like it was time I brought y'all a really good, intense, effective, dumbbell only glute workout. So that's what we're doing today. But I do have to let y'all know what's gonna be fueling today's workout and that is this right here as you guys know already know i have talked about them so many times on my channel this is built bars puffs and this flavor here is the cookie dough chunk now when i tell y'all it literally has chunks of cookie dough in this so if you haven't heard me talk about them before i have partnered with them in many of my videos and honestly y'all if i did not like these i would not be putting y'all on these are the best tasting protein bars i have ever tasted and they do not have that gritty taste that gritty texture especially the puffs these ones here they are just super fluffy and just super light 15 grams of protein only eight grams of sugar and 160 calories and it literally tastes like you're eating a Snickers bar or a Twix that good. This one here, like I said, has chunks of cookie dough. And we are in a rush. I just got to give you guys a little close up because you are seeing that, right? That is a chunk of cookie dough right there. And when I say I had to hide these from my family, I got the box delivered here to my mom's. And I was literally having to fight off all my family because they were trying to eat these. I really split one with everybody. Like one bar, they all got one little piece because this is a hot commodity. And it doesn't come back in until July 26th. So if you guys are interested in these bars, which I highly, highly suggest, I will have the link, of course, down below. You can use my code as well to save some money. They don't even have these right now. So I'm savoring each and every bar just that much more. This right here is a game changer. And I just got to show you all the first bite. We got to have a little first bite. Then we're going to get to this workout because this is all I've eaten today. This will be the first meal that I've eaten today. So I need something to fuel this workout. Oh, the chocolate. But anyways, I don't even think I mentioned. Thank you so much to Built Bar for sponsoring a portion of this video. You already know. Alrighty, first exercise, we are going to be doing elevated sumo squats. So I just have these little blocks here that I... I don't even know remember where I got them. I'm pretty sure Amazon, but it's like a wedge block that kind of lifts my heel a little bit. So it gives me more depth, especially if you struggle with ankle mobility. So I'm doing it on that. You can do it on any other platform that you may have, or you can just do standard squats if you don't have a platform because we are trying to just keep this minimal equipment and stuff. So I'm on that. So I do a squat and then I go straight into a straight leg deadlift. Now, You'll see a common theme throughout this whole entire workout, and I'm telling y'all, this is what really made it intense and took it to the next level. What I would do is I would do 10 reps with a somewhat lighter weight, a pretty difficult weight, but not too, too heavy. So I do 10 reps. Once I get to 10 reps, I immediately grab a heavier weight, something that's a little more challenging, and do as many reps as possible until failure. exercise are Bulgarian split squats same thing we are going to be doing 10 reps with the moderate weight then once we hit 10 reps we're going to grab the heavier weight and do as many reps as possible and I'm gonna try to let the music play through and get through these sets with y'all regular hip thrust 10 half rip hip thrust and then to each leg single leg 10 I I don't even know if I'm explaining this stuff right but that's why we do the demonstration <laughs>
try the hip thrust variation where it's 10 full reps, 10 half reps, and then 10 B stance. I did say single leg and I ended up doing B stance. Um, and then moving on, we are doing step up into like a reverse lunge. And y'all, I recently discovered these. I don't even know where I got them. I've probably seen them somewhere and tried it and was like, oh my gosh. But this reverse lunge, step up reverse lunge is amazing. Really try not to push off though. I was doing that because I was really tired. Like I'm telling y'all, those other sets took me out. But just wanna make sure that if you need to gather your breath or you need to take a moment, you do because this is balancing and you don't wanna like tip over. But give these a go. Give these a go if you haven't tried these reverse lunge step ups because it is chef's kiss. take a quick break but that was my first break um to go get my baby for a second but y'all this workout is amazing and i just goes to show that at the end of the day you don't need all this equipment you can get an amazing glute pump with just some dumbbells but i'm just going to finish out with some dumbbell swings which is similar to kettlebell swings but i just don't have a kettlebell and obviously this is strictly dumbbell so um i just love a good kettlebell swing for a burnout i just feel like it really does like it just fires up those glutes and it gets like that last little burnout that you might need. Do not underestimate some dumbbells, intention, mind and muscle connection, all that because put those three together, put all that together, you're gonna have a fire workout. So let's get it.